So you probably don't really even see a lot of other sound designers even using the iPad like that either, do you? Uh, I don't, but I'm sure I'm sure people do. Mm -hmm. you know, like I worked with um I worked with what's his name from the gorillas and he used the iPad, which which bugged me out. Like a lot of these shit mm -hmm. is iPad. He did that shit that <laughs> or start. Oh yeah, you know he did that record on well that thing on the phone. He had the first uh garage the beat maker one, right? For the gorillas? I yeah, didn't, had... they, didn't they do it from the gorillas make that um first album? There was like an eight bit chip tune record in between those albums. It's all on beat maker one or in the garage band on the phone. I didn't even know. Garage, that. Yeah, he garage, I seen him use garage band. Yeah. Sure. yeah, but um, but yeah, I use it. I use it for everything. I mean, I think my like production style really is just finding like chemistry in the chaos. So. I like to, like, even with my son right now, I have this uh, drum pad called uh, the Pioneer DJS, and he likes to play on this. So I'll just, like, I'll load, I'll put up samples or chop them up or whatever, and then I'll just leave it on record and just have him just, like, play whatever to it. <laughs> and I'll go in, I won't, like, I won't change what he does, but I'll, like, shift it so it's, like, on a beat, and then I'll make a beat around it. That's so I kind of do that yeah. with with this too. Like when I'm working on a film, I put it on loop, and then I'll just go through sound. But it's like, or I put my voice in. You know, I have an app called Curate Curate Alpha yeah. that I design, and I put my voice in that app and just fuck with it and then drop it in there. You know, like I just, I just like to make a bunch of shit. So each app, I'll just get into a zone where like a week or two, I'm just like core gadget, like just like a hundred joint. Or like I used to do this thing where. The whole the whole Uber ride, I gotta I make a beat, but like, you know, every song that, that plays, I kind of like go to the next clip of chord, and then like fix the temp, change the tempo, and then make it to whatever plan. Then do another mm. one, then make it. And at the end, it'll sound totally. It'll be a bunch of weird shit. I can sample that. I cook up every day. I mean, have you been cooking up more lately? Since are you been like inside more and doing more cook up lately than than usual? I'll be honest, this shit ain't no different than every other day. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hair, bro. It's kind of like, like me and um, me and my girl, my baby, like we just be in here cooking up, like, cause she's a visual artist. She's a painter. Okay. Um, it's Corey Wash. So that's all we do is kind of like, and we do a lot of just like event planning and like uh, installations, different things. So we always working from home. We only leave the crib whether it's to support a friend or to get a bag. You know what I'm saying? Damn, that's what's up, man. Damn. So now, that's a life right there. Like, we kind of been doing that for, because we lived out here for three years and then we had a child. So we lived in Baltimore for a year and came back. So it's really been, you know, the saying, it's funny, we just, we just, you know, given all the shit going on, whatever, it's just like, a lot of things that we see people saying they have to do is like, oh shit, like, you know what I mean? It's like stay clean, like drink water, like, you know what I mean? Stay five feet away from it. It's like, yeah, don't be in motherfuckers space, period. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> yeah, like regular shit that we do every like know, we've been doing it, right? Like musician yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. Dealing with our health, like, you know, yeah. going, you know, being here and going within and dealing with like, you know, our demons and shit that we gotta deal with, like talking about it, figuring shit out, like doing that shit, you know. I think sometimes people get away from just having to deal with they self. And a lot of times, like, bedroom mm -hmm. producers, like, we got to do that. Cause it's a, like, I used to be making beats and being there talking to Fruity Loops. Like, yo, like, nah, nigga, come over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I be paying, bro. Like, ah, oh, that's fire, yo. Or, like, the little mistakes on there, that, oh, that's lit. Let me work with that. Like, and my mom, like, who you talking to? I'm like, yo, I'm just, I'm in here vibing. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> with a million of mad people, or whatever, you know. I feel like for us right now, for for me, for you know me specifically, it's just kind of same routine. It's just you know more people are on the vibe, so you know we get to connect, you know, and it has me just connect. That's all. Like I need to be on here because like y'all the niggas to go to with the fucking. Like, <laughs> so it's like I right, that's that's what I've been using for the past like I would say the past. Four years has been like iPad heavy, everything iPad, iPad. But you know, like things take 
a while before it comes out or like things will be out. I did actually the track I did with Ari Lennox. I did a track with her called uh, 40 Shades of Choke. It's mm. on so like streaming. But yeah. that that track is an iPad. It's, I use the iPad. I use the uh, OP1, Teenage Engineering OP1. That's me. Uh, That's Bryce Lane. Also, uh, I did like a Kawhi piano, maybe. I don't know if it was that or, or a Yamaha song. And then also the Novation Circuit. So How about I, that? Huh? yeah. So I said that. That's when I was on my. That's when I was on my. I ain't bringing that the laptop to the studio. So I would <laughs> iPad. I bring the iPad. I I'd bring my Apogee. I think it's called an Apogee something, but it's like the iPad Apogee joint, mm -hmm. and it has like the two instrument inputs. The duo. Mm -hmm. The duo. duet or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Bop, bop. yeah. So I would go to the studio with that. With the iPad, and then I bring like external gear. So I bring like the little OP1 because it's small, and then I bring a circuit because I, I switch the sound so I can have like my own drums in it. So I just set up, I set up my shit, and then I ran it through Pro Tools, and I just, you know, we were just vibing, we were just vibing, playing music, boom, then I just started cooking up on the iPad, cooking up, cooking up, cooking up, cooking up, and then I just would solo shit and play it in, in Pro Tools solo. Pro Tools, solo, 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 and then in Pro Tools, go in there and mix it, you know, all that. But that shit was a full, like, through the iPad. Like, I sampled all the shit, like, made it in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I might have used iMachine, low key. Might have used, I might have been using that at that time. So I might have used that too. Hmm. Yeah, so that's you like sync it up? Y'all want to use a MIDI sync? It's going straight in? Say it again? Y'all going straight in? There was no MIDI sync on it when you're going to Pro Tools? Nah, because um, they do have an output. They do have a USB output for MIDI. So we could have did that, but I wasn't that lit with it yet. You know what I'm saying? I was just mm. like, let me just do it here, and then I will just record the shit. Like, you just record the shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wasn't even stemming. I wasn't stemming or nothing because I was using mad different apps. Yeah. I might have mm. used patterning, too. I might have used patterning as well. I, was, I would just use mad apps and build it, build it. So it's like, and I would run it through like uh, like uh, audio bus. I think I was using it at that time, so I could have all of them. You know, all of them got yeah. eight. Like, yeah. You know, and so I have all of them yeah. running. I just like build it, build it, and then stem it in there. And then once mm -hmm. I have all the pieces, then it's like, okay, this is the chorus. Okay, this is gonna be the verse. Oh, it's gonna start like uh, this. And then when it's like that, then I build on top again with more iPad show. Then I went to the piano room. Then I went. To, you know what I'm saying? But that's mm -hmm. what I was like. I'm just using an iPad. Like, everything will come from here. Like, I kind of like on some. That's the thing too. Is like I, I think the reason why I use the two is because oh, why I got accustomed to using it is because I like to challenge myself. And I feel like I got to a point. It was a point where I was using. I started with Fruity Loops. I started with like on some Yamaha keyboards. You know? But um. I think when I started using Fruity Loops, I would download like every fucking VST, ah, serum, just ah, ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I started having like, like damn, I got every sound. So then I started like, all right, let me get back to uh, creating my yeah, sound design like I, I used to do when I, when I was younger. So doing all of that shit and then getting more to Ableton performing live, it was like, all right, lit, I could do mad shit, but then it's like, I could do everything. All right, I need the limitation again. So then mm. it was like, I was like making shit with my phone, like sounds and shit. But I think the apps weren't there. It's probably like 2012 or something where I started like just seeing what was on the phone or something. I feel like somebody had put me on the shit. But then when I got the iPad, it was like a London trip, and I landed and I was just like, I was I went there for like a writing camp, and I landed. I was like, yeah, you know what, yo. I'm going to the Apple Store right now. I went to the Apple Store, I got the iPad, and I just downloaded every app. Watched my tutorials, probably when I find this shit, like, ah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then I realized, like, oh, I'm making shit that don't sound like the shit I used to make. Like, all right, cool, let me fit, let me. I knew that I wasn't lit with it yet, though. You know what I mean? So I just was, like, in training. So I feel like the last two years, 
last two, three years, it have been like, I I could like flex heavy with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have some artists, uh, how have they received that, man? When you come into the studio work with some artists and stuff, they see you pull out the iPad, see you pull out the phone. Do you get some funny, yeah, you know, that's some funny experiences like, with that, man? <laughs> yeah, that's always like, oh, you just work it over that. Mm. But, you know, at the same time, it's kind of like, I used to I used to get that kind of reaction even when I was working at Fruity Loops because I would do like niggas would be like, oh, that was that was from Fruity Loops. Mm -hmm. I mean, or like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I always just do weird shit and then I'm I just make it make sense. You know, and depending on the artist I'm working with, I always, you know, communicate like, you know, it's always like a joint production. But like with art certain artists that are accustomed to how I work, it's kind of like I just go. And then at the end, it makes mad sense. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. and with the iPad, it's like I'm able to. I kind of treat it like how, like how you would have your studio, and you have like, you know, because I had I used to have like the S950 sampler. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. and I had the like, uh, what else I had? I had um, I just had mad little gear, mad little shit. You know what I mean? I had like a boss. Feel like I had a roll in something, whatever. Da, da. But I had all these pads, all these different things, and I would like track them into Fruity Loops and like have fun, blah, blah, blah. So I just feel like with the iPad, it's kind of the same shit for me. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I want to chop the sample of like that. All right, cool, I'm going to put it over here. Like, I want to do this, I'm going to put it on it. If, I, if I'm in the studio with somebody and I know, y'all, I'm working on a full thing, Beat Maker 3. Mm. You know what I mean? If I'm like, oh, but in Beat Maker 3, I'll like pull certain shit. But if I'm like, I, I'm just wilding out and creating, I, I fuck with all the apps like as if it's sampling. Like in my head, like imagination, like in my in my brain, I'm seeing that shit like, oh, let me go over there and grab, like I'm grabbing cord gadget, like, oh, come over here, like, ooh, I lit. And I see the chain in my head, like I could see like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you know, nah. we get it. You definitely get it. I really, I really take sound like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I respect that shit. So, you know. Yeah. What do you listen on, man? You listen on headphones? I listen on headphones. I listen on the uh, earpod joints, mm -hmm. and then I have Sonos speakers that I listen on. Oh, yeah. I really like like the bass. It's one sonos that I got like the bass and everything is just real good to like see if the bass knocking. And then I have Yamaha's that I work off of. And those are just like it got a low bass, but not really. It's more like a lot of mid high. So I just I kind of mix it like that in, in the crib. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I'll I'll work on it, boom. Like if it's a score or something, I'll work on it. And then at night I'll play it because we got like a projector on it. Wall, so I'll play it and then listen to it on the Soto. So like, I right, if I was just playing it like off, you know, whatever streaming service, like let me see how it would sound. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you ever mess with Tabletop? That app? Yo, that was the first, first, first. Let me pull it up and see. I play it. Yeah. That was my first. That was the first. Well, besides, that was the that was you the said first, like pulling all the little uh, things in. Man. That tabletop comes to mind. That was the first app that I was like, I got busy mm. because I liked that. It was like I gotta pull shit. I, I like mm -hmm. that. And then how I started using the other ones, I kind of see it like that in my head. You know what I'm saying? Right. But mm -hmm. now tabletop, yeah. See, like I got, I got joints. Like, yeah. The oldest, <laughs> the oldest tabletop I got. Let's see. <laughs> come sample those and make a put them into a sample pack. Oh, I've I've probably already done that. Some of them mm. have popped up. Okay. The splice pack, maybe. Okay. Um, but yeah, see, I'm still scrolling, but we could keep talking while I scroll. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I love tabletop. I wish they would go and you know update it more and. You know what? I feel I right, so the first joint is the is twelve twenty four twenty seventeen. Mm. Two oh six a.m. You know all those. <laughs> <laughs> it's, called, it's called God One. Mm, <laughs> magic hour. <laughs> you, got that, you got that Christmas Eve sale. No sale. Twelve twenty four. That shit probably just y'all like. Oh, I'm copping it now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. Yeah. tabletop is good. 
What got you? I into, like uh, simple top because it's like a fully. It's like everything is in. It's kind of like a core gadget before core gadget came out. Yeah. Like I like apps like that. It's a lot. It's limitations, but you know, I feel like I cook up weird shit. You know, I feel like I want to play something. Not only that, the way you do it, it, like I do it that way too. Like I'll plug into a mixer and then record things out and track yeah. them out. So, you know, it works when you do shit like that. Like with tabletop, you could go ahead and make something and just boom, run it through. Only thing with tabletop, like you can't stem, you feel me? Yeah. It's no, it's no stem. So, you know, it, it's, it had that limitation. Now when I'm like, I can, I can really, really utilize, beat make a three in a certain way and like, Core gadget, all the like Ableton link function, all that. When I go there and cook up, it's kind of like, you know, I'm just having fun training because, like, yeah. you know, I want to stem it out. It's just like, you know, OD. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's see. Yes, yeah, I do shit like this. I mean, that's, that's in uh, tabletop. Ah, uh, that's a mono. Yeah. Uh yeah 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 the it's like it's Morex or something yeah yeah yo it's funny because they don't update it but they make sure to update the in store purchases and the little things you can add <laughs> oh, that, is, that low key annoys me because <laughs> be like yo like you know because when I first was on it I I definitely was copying all the you know yeah. and stuff but then I was just like. You know, like shit wasn't just being updated, shit would crash. I'm just like, man, yep. I'm just gonna wait. But but tabletop is like it has its limitations, but I like I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the layout of it is dope. I don't know what that is. That sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, limitations is where it's at, man. Shit. Yeah, sometimes you know, you create your work around and it helps, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah. Well, I think you know, it's it's different for every producer. I think my way it's just something that works for me. This is the other one. I think I was just sampling a vinyl or something. I just wanted to like sample the drums, but I did it in tabletop. Mm. So what got you into just music production overall? 